For the last six years, he has been the head coach of the Cal Bears. Mike New joins us on the broadcast. Mike, good morning, man. Thanks for the time. Getting ready for a big tournament in the desert this weekend. Tell us about getting your guys ready for this great event. Yeah, that's right. You know, just uh, a lot of time preparing. You know, you're, you spend so much time together over the fall in the weight room and on the field. And, you know, it's it's kind of finally here. We get to get a, get a chance to go out to Arizona. Great venue. Great tournament. So uh, I think we're excited to just uh, play somebody besides ourselves and inner squads. <laughs> Mike, I, I, you know, this is your seventh season, obviously, out there uh, with the Golden Bears. How has college baseball changed in those seven years? Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you have uh, a lot of things just in college athletics right now. When you're talking about the transfer portal, you're talking about NIL money. There, there's so many different um, aspects to the game that uh, that are new. And, and, you know, you think about football and basketball, but, you know, it's, it's definitely in the world of, of baseball as well. And, um, you know, it just it kind of changes things as far as recruiting goes, as far as roster management. The draft is now 20 rounds. You know, so I think a lot of the stuff off the field, you know, ha has changed the way you go about things and you have to be able to, be able to adapt and, and um, you know, make sure you still have a competitive roster. And, and it's it's definitely a little bit more difficult than it, than it was or it's at least different, mm -hmm. you know, so um, so you got to be able to change with it. And I think, um, you know, we've, we we're trying to do that. We're trying to do a good job, just like everybody else. And as soon as you start to figure it out, something else will probably change. So you just got to <laughs> kind of keep working with what you got. You know, I mentioned a moment ago there, Mike, some of the stars that played at Cal in the uh, in the late 80s. Cal baseball has a really great history, right? I mean, in, in the coaching ranks, too, Jackie Jensen, Red Sox Hall of Famer, was a, a Cal Bears player, standout player and coach. Uh, is this just a partial list of some of the greats that have come through the program there? ex Nady, top pick, Andy Messersmith had a great career in the big leagues, of course. More recently, current guys like Mark Canna still out there playing and Marcus Simeon. You had a guy, Andrew Vaughn, who won a Golden Spikes Award for you there, um, who we're waiting, uh, you know, to really turn into a super-duper star at the big league level. He's sh certainly shown glimpses of that. Uh, talk about what it was like to have Andrew on campus with you at Cal. Yeah, I mean, it, it was like, you know, I, I wanted to remind myself every day, hey, enjoy watching this guy because it's a special dude. I mean, just watching him hit was – unbelievable he was different um and, and then just a great teammate great competitor um you know the way he went about things every day was just like he was already a pro he was like a, a college level pro and then it was just it was just fun to watch the guy swing the bat i mean he was just a special player and obviously the the numbers backed it up but um yeah just just fun to be around that dude and we've had a few of those guys that he's definitely the top of the top right now but uh you know there's there's definitely some guys that have come through here like you showed on that list and some more current ones that have have been really great so it's been fun to be around those guys mike when you you know you go back to when you when you pitched you know we were together back in the day in the early 2000s and you you know coming into the league it was you know you would draft guys that could that could pitch you know not necessarily velo guys you know when you look back at you know what you were as a pitcher and the guys nowadays when you're recruiting a pitcher are you recruiting just velo? Are you still recruiting guys that can pitch? We're, we're still recruiting guys that can pitch. You know, I, I mean, yeah, the, the velo is obviously a thing that's been able to be trained more, gives you more margin for error, um, you know, but but there's there's still something to pitch ability. You know, I mean, I, I definitely wasn't an overpowering guy. I was throwing more of a, you know, power change up and, and some off speed, you know, but but the ability to pitch and compete, I think, still you know, makes a difference. And, um, and you know, you'd like to have some kind of combo of both. I mean, I think we we want to have some power guys that we feel like can develop into those guys that can really dominate, you know, with their stuff. But, um, but you know, at the end of the day, it's about winning baseball games and getting people out. And there's a lot of different ways to do it. And, um, you know, so I think trying to have a balanced uh, pitching staff that, that probably has a combo of those guys I think everybody would love to have a bunch of guys that throw mid to upper 90s and and just strike everybody out. But, uh, you know, th that's just not reality. I mean, even in the big leagues, there's a lot of guys doing it in different ways. So. Um, so, yeah, I think that's kind of what we're looking for and trying to develop. So it, it's uh, if you're balanced, you got a lot of different looks. I think you still have a chance to compete even with having, you know, high end velo all the time. I love the 20-year-old highlights of, of you, Mike, from 03. You were a rapper, huh? You came out like this, like a little Russ Ortiz. Nasty changeup, too. Nasty. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I Yeah, it makes me feel old now, you know. But, uh, yeah, it was just, just trying to – tried to sneak my way up there and do the best I could for a little bit. It was, it was a lot of fun, man. Got to live the, live the dream, you know? Love it, man. Hey, we appreciate the visit today, Mike. Uh, we wish you and the Golden Bears the best of success at the Desert Invitational this weekend and when uh, conference play starts indeed. Thanks for the visit, and uh, we'll be watching this weekend.